Welcome to another Better Button Render Blender tutorial. So this is a lineup from our previous two tutorials and which I will put in the links in the description. And in those two tutorials, I showed you how to properly UV and wrap a sphere and how to add details and add realism to plain textures using Blender. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the object constraints tab in Blender. And I'll be showing you how to mainly use the copy location. So if you've made a scene such as mine, I've animated the ball already. It works like this. The ball rolls down the stairs. But the thing is, there's something missing. And that is you want the head to follow the body. So you first, what you'd probably do is you probably choose the head, the child of, in this case, and you choose the body, the parent, and then you're gonna click Control P, Object Keep Transform. And then you'd go into your camera view and see how that looks. And like, what is that? I'm not, I'm not even gonna explain it. So here's a quick tip to fix that. We're gonna use the copy location object constraint. So first we're gonna unparent it obviously. So you're gonna wanna choose the body which is the parent in this case. And we're gonna click on, sh clicking shift, we're gonna click the head, the child, and we're gonna click Alt P and clear keep transform. And then what you're gonna wanna do is click on your child, so the object you want to follow, and then you're gonna click add object constraints, and then we're gonna use the copy location object constraints. And then with that, we're gonna set the target, obviously, to the object that we wanted to follow. And in this case, it's the sphere but here's the thing now the head the child is in the body and there's a good reason for that and that's because the origin point was in the middle of the head and the origin point for the body was in the middle of the body so the origin point determines what location it is in meaning since we put copy location they both are gonna follow each other's location meaning the origin points will be at the same point. And that's why the head is in between the body. And there's a quick tip to fix that. So first we're gonna go into edit mode. And since in edit mode, whatever you do, the origin point will stay there. So we're just gonna click A, go into wireframe mode and go into a good view. And then I'm just gonna move it until where I want it to. So if these objects don't come with you, you can obviously go into object mode and we're gonna Click on the extras by holding shift. And then at last, we're gonna choose the child object, which is the head in this case. And there we go. And then we can click control P object to keep transform. And then we can go into edit mode and do the, and we can move it up. So holding down tab A, and we're just gonna move them until it's in the line with the body. All right, so I just moved it, I did a little bit of tweaking to get the correct position. And now we can go into object mode. And since the origin point was in the middle, now to Blender, the head is technically in the middle, but to our visual, the head is actually on the body. And now if we just play the animation back in rendered preview mode, we can see that the head will follow the body without getting the rotation data as well. And that's a really quick, simple tip to get the object constraints right. But you can obviously use other object constraints such as the copy rotation and the copy scale and all those stuff, but they're for different scenarios. But for this scenario, the copy location object constraint is the best. And this is it for today's tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.